GoMotion is our USB motion detector. It connects directly to a computer through a USB port. It's one of the most popular sensors we have because it's very versatile and it shows the students how objects move but also helps them understand how graphs work and that's a very beneficial thing to have. Basically the way it works is that you put an object directly in front of it and it will send out ultrasonic pings and time how long it takes for those to hit the object and bounce back. So you can move your hand up and down in front of it, you can point it at a student and they can walk back and forth in front of it, or you can also use it for uh, more complex physics things like rolling objects down a cart, tossing a ball into the air, things like that. But for K-12, um, it's very useful for simple things like, like body movement. And we have a lot of labs written for it in our curriculum that we have here in front of us. It's uh, the Elementary uh, Science with Vernier book and the Middle School Science with Vernier book. Both have several Go Motion experiments written in them, and there are some you can download from our website as well. So today I'm going to illustrate how this works by connecting it to the computer. So just plug into the USB port of your computer. So I've launched Logger Lite on the computer and I have a GoMotion attached to the USB port on the computer and you can see it's brought up a graph of position versus time, a data table with position and time and also a column for velocity and then a digital meter down here where you can see the position. I'm going to collect some data now of my hand moving up and down over the, mo the Go Motion, and you can see on the graph the position of my hand changing. And students kind of get an idea of what the motion detector can do from that. You can also do a fun activity with the Go Motion uh, where you have students compete matching some graphs that the LoggerLite software can generate. If I click on the graph matching button on the toolbar, it will bring up a randomly generated line on the graph and you would have your students use their hands or their bodies to move in front of the motion detector to try and match that line. It's really fun and it helps the students understand how the graphs work. So it's, a, it's an excellent sensor for the K-8 level.